Adam Cole, return match versus Daniel Garcia. I thought overall this was a very good match. There were a couple of spots early where it looked like they briefly were on a different page. Uh, there was there was a uh, rope run spot, and then uh, Cole got flipped over and actually fell down. And then he tried to do an over the deal and didn't quite make it. But once they got that stuff out of the way, it was on. And the rest of the match ended up being very good. The crowd was into it. Cole hit uh, a super kick, went for the Panama Sunrise. It was avoided. Garcia put on the Dragon Tamer. Cole escaped. Garcia hit a pile driver earlier, a cross arm pile driver later to work on the head. Cole kicked out of that. And he finally hit the Panama Sunrise and the boom for the pin. So they play his music. They're dropping the confetti. Britt Baker comes out. They hug and kiss. And then they hit Jericho's music. And he comes down to the ring and he checks on Garcia, and he starts to help him to the back, and then he slowly turns and he looks back. Yep, so, so it looks like uh, Jericho and Adam Cole probably in the pay-per-view. Jericho and Adam Cole the pay-per-view, which sounds great. So, Yeah, well, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, that one, as soon as I saw that, I thought that makes that makes a lot of sense. Um, the thing with Adam Cole is, is, like, he has to be a baby face right now. It would be stupid for him to be heel. But I think that he's he's more comfortable as a heel. I mean, well, he I, I know he you know he's worked most of his career as a heel. I mean, he can be a baby. Well, you know. it ain't his time to be a heel now. It's not his time. It's to be definitely a heel. time. They yeah. need a baby face. They need some baby faces, and um, and he's the guy in the you know and there at the right time. They need a fresh baby face that can push really really hard and do a big chase. Um, you know the crowd, like the crowd this week for for him, was gonna be really strong because the whole show was built around him and it's his return after all this time and people are happy to see him back, and they were. It was you know it was real good, um, but it becomes, you know the the first week reaction is is not indicative, you know of what it's going to be down the line. Nevertheless, he's got he's got a lot of charisma. He can talk and. Um, you know, it's just a question of, uh, you know, if how sustained the reaction is to him as a baby face. So, um, I mean, he's it, it, you know, it, it was good. It was really it was really good. I really like the confetti thing and the Britt Baker thing because it made it much bigger than just a win. I think you needed more than just, OK, he beats him with his move. We all kind of knew it was going to happen. Cole, everyone knew Cole's not losing his first match back. So because of that, he needed something to make it, you know, that little bit of punch, make it a little bit extra special. And the confetti thing was was a real nice touch. And the Jericho thing, I'm sure, surprised everyone. So now, you know, kind of like, OK, the destination is Adam Cole and Jericho, which is a good stepping stone on the way up. You know, obviously Jericho's, you know, a guy who, you know, when you beat him, it should be a good thing. Although Action Andretti follow up wasn't the best. What is everyone's favorite sandwich? So I was at a shindig last night. There was a grilled cheese sandwich truck there. The, hmm. the cheese pit. It was ham, pepper jack cheese, and sweet baby raised barbecue sauce. And I had them add jalapenos instead of the barbecue sauce. They had their own uh, garlic honey mustard. I had that on there instead. These are both excellent choices. That sandwich was pretty goddamn great. There are still a Quiznos in the area. I keep meaning to go visit one. The pizza sub at Subway. It's not on the menu anymore, but you get the, like, the spicy Italian and have the, add the marinara sauce and the meatballs. What are your favorite pizza toppings? Pepperoni, green, green pepper, onions, and you leaped mushrooms. You to answer this question. Man. I'm, I'm you leap strongly opinionated on this one. What is your favorite type of sausage? Munchen House in Leavenworth, Washington. The Big yes, Bob Bratwurst. One third pound pork seasoned with a mild spice blend, sweet and sour mustard on there, and your sweet relish and onions. That's that's a meal right there. So he presents his doctor's note, which is literally just the words "he's sick" written on a Wingstop receipt. I don't know if they sell the thigh bites now, but those are so good. The thigh bites at Wingstop are awesome. If you enjoy these videos, for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.